Hey gang, it's last username. Uh, a little while ago I posted a video about this new compact butt array that uses inline pistons. And since then, I've been wondering if this same technique could be used to build a 2D butt array, two-dimensional butt array. So a platform of pistons that can detect block updates over a two-dimensional area. Uh, and I'm pleased to announce that 500 lobotomized monkeys later, I have done it. I've invented the BUD platform. This is it. Uh, this is a 12 by 12 grid of pistons, 144 total, that can detect block updates underneath any one of them. Um, the machine does have to go over top of whatever you're detecting. Uh, unfortunately, doing it the other way around would mean powering these pistons from underneath, and that's a well-known pain in the ass problem with no elegant solution. But uh, this could be useful for some things. I don't know what exactly. I don't have a use for it myself, but I'd really like to see what other people can come up with. Uh, if you do come up with a use for it, please let me know, post a video response, something like that. Um, regardless, I, I know that uh, if you do need this thing, then you'll definitely really, really need it. There's no substitute for it. Um, the, uh, it's fairly straightforward. It uses the same technique as, as that thing. So these pistons are all powered right now, but they're all stuck because when the power came on, this piston was extended and they, they couldn't push forward. So when they update, they will extend. And this was the tricky part, is detecting, uh, detecting those pistons extending without getting in the way of these pistons pushing them back into place. Um, and the way I did that was with these sticky pistons here. They get pushed over top of these powered blocks and then push these blocks up which connect these repeaters to this wire and that cycles the whole machine and resets everything. Now I tried various other ways of doing it. I tried um, the little trick with the uh, switching the block underneath the torch or underneath the redstone dust and that works with a one wide bud array, but it doesn't work when you put more than one next to each other because the for some reason having both of them go at the same time makes the torches pop off or the redstone dust pop off the block. So this is the best I can come up with. It's not bad. Gets the job done. Um, let's see how to build it. So I'll just build one slice of the machine and then I'll clone that 11 more times since all the slices are the same. Now uh, this is the end bit of the slice. So get a good look at that. Note the obsidian there and there. Could also be furnaces as long as it's a block that isn't pushable by pistons. Also note the sticky piston right here. That one right there. And to this you will add up to 12 blocks along here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and regular pistons underneath all of those. Redstone dust on top. And now we're going to clone that. Again, you can do it up to 12 times. You can do it less if you want. But if you do more, you're going to have wiring problems that you will have to solve yourself. And now we just need to build the bits on the end, which go like this. This connects around here like this. There's a repeater there that's set to three ticks. It's very important. There's an arm that comes out here uh, approximately halfway 
uh, into the middle of this platform. So since it's 12 long, we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And put dust along here. And repeat right there. Do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And put the little thingy coming out here like this. Torch right there. And very last thing you do is put redstone torches there and here. And now your machine's ready to go. Simple. In retrospect, the monkey lobotomies may not have been strictly necessary. But I'm sure they're happy to have sacrificed themselves for fake science. I'm last username. Enjoy your bud platform.